<laughs> and of course, we're continuing to look at what these conditions might possibly look like as the you know everything begins to come in tonight. We're going to get all sorts of things <laughs> happening during <laughs> the lot. day tomorrow, from starting the very early morning hours of rain to ice to mm -hmm. snow. The good news, if you didn't get to the grocery store, you won't be locked in your house all weekend. Ooh. I promise. Are you optimistic? I'm always optimistic. There you go. Especially if you like ice and snow, because I've got that <laughs> Friday forecast. Tonight, we encourage you to stay weather aware. Stay with us over the next hour or so. Uh, we'll be doing some Facebook Lives this evening. We'll see you tonight at 11. We've got you covered first thing tomorrow morning with uh, Chuck and Kelly. And by the way, first thing tomorrow morning, it starts to get slippery as the rain will transition to freezing rain and sleet for several hours from about 2 a.m. to about 9 a.m. Then once we hit mid-morning Friday into Friday afternoon and Friday night, this becomes snow snow that could be heavy at times and we'll be using live Doppler 13 radar right now of course it shows us rain and there are a few pockets of heavier rain developing across the eastern sections of Hendricks County from near Avon south to about Plainfield and then right just south of I-70 in the northwestern corner of Morgan County we also have some pockets of heavier rain Greenfield south to Morristown just along and north of I-74 let's slide to the south and west just a little bit we'll pick up Greencastle and Cloverdale south along along 231 Spencer and Gosport getting rain it's rain and it will stay rain through at least midnight for most of central Indiana so no problems on the roads this evening aside from the fact that they're wet we've got rain in Greenwood Franklin Edinburgh Columbus Shelbyville also into Brownstown and Seymour the rain will eventually transition to that wintry mix and then eventually to all snow you can see that changeover starting to happen now across the western sections of Illinois and the eastern sections of Iowa we have low clouds and rain downtown Indianapolis unseasonably warm 57 right now it's breezy too with a south wind at 14 today's high 58 we picked up six hundredths of an inch of rain we will add to that total new information from the National Weather Service the watch has been upgraded everybody highlighted in purple under a winter weather advisory from 1 a.m. tomorrow through 2 p.m. or 10 p.m. rather tomorrow night it's a winter storm warning that's highlighted in pink doesn't really matter if you're under the advisory or the warning. All of us are going to get that ice that will eventually change over to some snow. This is the best map to show you. Future Track 13. 11 o'clock tonight, we will start to see that change to a wintry mix across the northwestern part of the state. We'll still be at 49 in Indianapolis, but dropping to 31 in Lafayette by 4 a.m. Expect some slick roads, especially Lafayette south to Crawfordsville into Greencastle. Temperatures will already be in the middle and upper 20s. We'll be at 30 degrees in Indianapolis with that changeover before sunrise to the wintry mix. This changes to snow by mid to late morning. Some of that snow will become heavy at times. This is 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We'll stop it at 5 p.m. at 7 p.m. We're not forecasting the snow completely to come to an end until 10 p.m. tomorrow. So what are we expecting in terms of totals? We We've got all sorts of winter precipitation. That's the reason for the advisory and the warning. Ice and one to three inches of snow for most of us. Ice and three to six inches of snow south and east. As we get new information, we still may adjust those snow bands just a little bit to keep you um, up to date and, and informed and weather aware. What will follow, another chance for some snow and Arctic air. So. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like what's going to fall is going to melt very fast either. No, and that will be the issue Saturday morning. We'll be done with the snow, but we still may have some icy and snow-covered roads to start the weekend anyway. We won't be out of the woods yet. No. All right, thanks so much, Angela.